it's caviar time. We're eating caviar. Woo! You're probably wondering, what makes vodka and caviar the perfect combination? Today, I'm gonna show you just how to enjoy this salty, fatty, dry, but oh so tasty combination. We are gonna taste some absolute vodka. We are gonna eat some caviar. Indulgence is key here, friends. Do not be shy. I am also going to show you three perfect snack combinations using caviar to pair perfectly with Absolute Vodka. This is Absolute Drinks with Elise, and we are eating caviar today. Let's get into it. So, to get things started, I am going to dispel some common myths about vodka, including flavor, taste, and aroma. And then we're gonna get into exactly why Absolute Vodka pairs so well with caviar. But first, of course, we need to take a look at the vodka. Did I say look? Of course I meant taste. Mm. So this glass is shaped specially for tasting. It's going to help control some of the aroma that's coming off of our spirits so that when we bring it up to our mouths and our nose, we're able to get a really good vibe for what we have in the glass. When tasting, we always wanna look at our spirits so we'd lift it to the light see how it clings to a glass. We're gonna see if it's viscous, if it's got a big body, if she's thick. That might tell us something about the way that it plays with our mouth, if it's creamy, if it's rich, if it has a long lasting flavor. The next thing that we're going to do is smell it, of course. Bring it around town. Mm. Think about what you're smelling because what you are smelling on your nose is going to come back for the palate. These are very connected pieces so we can almost tell whether we're working with something delicious, whether we're gonna like it, if we like the nose, cool? Yeah. I'm getting a lot of fresh baked bread. I'm getting some yeasty moments, and I'm also getting a little bit of citrus. It's one of my favorite things about Absolute. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna taste it. I'm sure you saw when I poured this out, that it, this vodka is ice cold, it came from the freezer. This is a wonderful way to taste vodka. I really enjoy it when it's ice cold and crisp. I think it changes the viscosity in the body of this so that it coats my palate, kind of creates a warm blanket over my mouth before I swallow it and enjoy it. So I can pick out great food pairings from here. And I think that Absolute, because of its flavor and aroma, like I mentioned, that breadiness, that yeastiness, that citrusy note on the nose and in the palate, are going to be the perfect palate cleanser in between my bites of caviar. Mm, do people say that? Oh, okay. Quality feedback. <laughs> First myth to dispel, vodka tastes like water. I don't know what vodka you're drinking, but it certainly is an absolute. All good spirits ought to have some character of the agricultural components from which they're made. We're working with delicious winter wheat with absolute, so we've got a lot of those notes in the glass. The second myth, all vodka is made from potatoes. Did you hear what I just said, Max? We at Absolute use winter wheat, but we're not the only ones. Vodka is made in a lot of places from a lot of different ingredients, whether that's potatoes or wheat or rye, and all of those things give different characters to the spirit. And then the third would be... Oh, people ask about that? Filtering vodka at home? Whoa. The last misconception, which is quite startling to me, is that folks believe that they can filter bad vodka themselves through charcoal or something like it. This is not true. Very good tasting vodka is created through the distillation process. And we at Absolute use continuous distillation. This is a wonderful sort of uh, filtration process that allows to pick and choose what flavors and particles we want to keep. Of course, ending with our final product, which is delicious and flavorful. I really hope that I've dispelled some common myths for you, but I really can't wait anymore. So if you have any more questions for me, don't forget to leave them in the comments but I really need to press on. I have some caviar to taste. Don't be shy. The dynamic duo, the perfect pair, vodka and caviar. We are going to explain or taste, find out together why this works so well. You're probably wondering, Elise, give us the good stuff. What is caviar? To put it simply, because we could talk forever, caviar is the fish roe from a sturgeon fish. Today we've got three types of caviar. We have one from Poland, one from Belgium and one from Bulgaria. I am going to be using a spoon today, not just any spoon. We are using a mother of pearl spoon today and we're doing so because caviar is very sensitive, very delicate. We have to take really good care of this stuff and it's very reactive. So if we were to use a metal spoon, 
we would actually change the flavor of the caviar. It would begin to oxidize. We don't want any of that because we also know caviar can be a little expensive. So always start with a non-reactive surface spoon and go right in. The rule about caviar is don't be shy. And this is how you do it. Creamy, nutty. Oh, it's savory in a way that you wouldn't expect. You know what it isn't? Fishy. I think that's a really common misconception about caviar. It tastes of the sea, but not of the fish. It is salty, fatty, briny, perfect. The way that it melts in your mouth, mm, like butter, baby. The reason we enjoy vodka so much with caviar, especially when we're eating caviar straight, is because it helps to cleanse that brine off of our palate between bites, inviting us to come back for more. Now, you really don't wanna do this with lukewarm vodka. Your vodka needs to be very cold, which brings me to how we treat our caviar. Your caviar must also be very cold. Caviar is very delicate. In fact, when you have it at home, I would suggest you store it in the coldest place in your fridge. And once it's opened, eat it with haste. This truly is not something to hoard, it is something to share. All right, so I've primed my palate, I've gotten my first taste. Now I wanna talk about exactly what's happening after when I taste it with vodka, so. Mm. The saltiness that lingers on my palate from the caviar is immediately cut by that rich flavor of Absolute and that winter wheat almost plays to my palate sweetly. So I get this really nice, clean, ice cold, sweet cleansing moment with Absolute. This is real time reaction. Okay, I am going to try our final tasting just so I know before I invite a friend in what we're working with. I'm going to actually try this the most decadent way, right off the skin. I like my own brand. Our skin works really well as a non-reactive surface, and you can just hoover this right off your hand. We call this the caviar bump. Mm. Well, I'll be damned, that is you different. Say Whoa! Me? <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. I was just Whoa. just barely getting into it. I you know swear. that I asked the production to be on this episode just <laughs> to eat some caviar. I, I couldn't imagine a better friend to share it with. So this is your spoon. Oh. Let me grab you a pour of vodka if you don't yeah, mind. Yeah. Gather around. Let me teach you how to taste some vodka and enjoy some caviar. This is Are you fancy ready? Setup. We got some new budget. Thanks for oh. subscribing and liking <laughs> and commenting. <laughs> You need to experience it for yourself. I want you to try all three. Tell me what you think. Enjoy them with your absolute. Okay, okay, I'm gonna start with this one. I'll put it here. Wait, 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 what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving, I'm leaving. No, no, no. <laughs> good thing we have plenty. <laughs> That's good amount. This is a proper serve. Indulgence is key here, friends. Do not be shy. Oh, a little chair, chin, chin. You know, I'm feeling a little hungry, a little snacky. You ready to snack? Ooh, I'm snacking ready. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna try three different, pretty incredible snack combinations to try these caviars with. You know what that means, before we get to the snacks, subscribe to the channel, hit that little button down there, and ring that bell button so you never miss another episode of Drinks and Snacks with Elise and AJ. Snacks, go! Oh, yeah, yeah. Brought you some fucking beliefs. Oh. Snacking, spilking, more like snacking. Snacking. New merch out right now. Can we interest you in a delicious pour of Absolute Vodka? I would love that. That we can do. You know this is my favorite. What? This. Absolute Vodka. Enjoy the rest of the day, ladies. You're the best. Oh. Okay, so I've got some snacks planned out for us. We're gonna go mm -hmm. highbrow okay. to lowbrow. There's no wrong way to eat caviar. You can put caviar on pasta. You can put caviar on pizza. We're gonna put caviar on a few things today. We want a little bit of freshness from these ingredients, so we have some radish. We definitely want a dairy because that fat and that salt are a great combination. And we want something that's gonna taste delicious. So we have some blinis and we have some potato chips. Our fats are gonna be a creme fraiche and a sour cream. We have some chive here for a little crunch, oh. and we have some butter as another fat for our radish. So here's how I would suggest you do it. First, we're gonna start with a little bit of radish and butter. Pairs with this. 
Don't be shy. I'm not being mean, but a good host has to make sure that what she's serving is good, so I'm so sorry. I'm not gonna fight you over that. <laughs> okay, a little radish. Make your own. A little radish, butter. Make a nice bed for okay. your caviar. Yeah, it was a delicious choice. Get it on there. Mm. While you oh God. take that in, I'm gonna build you a more traditional, well-known snack pairing with caviar, and that's gonna be our blini, our baby pancake. These are great little vessels. Top it with a little creme fraiche. This is gonna be our fat. It's also gonna bring a little bit of tang. You think Rico made those blinis? Yeah, Rico made these from scratch. Actually, Rico comes from a long line of blini makers. I come from a long line of blini makers. Max, come in here. I'm gonna give a little spring onion for some crunch. I'm gonna get really freaky and I'm gonna double dip my styles of caviar here because why not? If you got it, go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, wow. I mean, I think these are the most delicious blinis I've had in a long time. I don't give Rico a lot of credit, but Bellini game is amazing. My family were making Bellinis 300 years ago, before they were even called Bellinis. Back then we just called them mini pancakes. All right, so our last snack is a little bit more casual. It's a fun, uh, easy way to approach eating caviar. It's a classic combination of delicious that we all know. It's a potato chip, it is sour cream. It doesn't have to be fancy for it to have caviar. Can I hook you up? Yeah, hook me up, hook me up. Okay, and I'm going in. One. Mm. That's salt from the chip. That's perfect. Mm. And the crunch from the chip. Mm. What do you think? What's your favorite snack? I think the bellini. First of all, there's a lot of food in it. But it doesn't really disturb the flavor of the caviar. I think you're right. Yeah. It's a great backup dancer for this caviar. Yeah. Frank, come and taste some bellinis. Ah, fancy girls. Frank, you got your vodka ready? You got your absolute yeah, Is this hand? mine? Yeah, that's yours. Right. That's yours. Cheers, everybody. Oh, well, cheers. Cheers. How do you do? Put your hand down. Okay. I'm a caviar guy. Oh, we got a caviar guy. The bulimi was very good though. Mm. Shout out to you, Rico. Actually, one day I hope to have my own little bellini shop, Rico's Bellinas. Enjoy. Well, this day goes down in history as one of my favorites. Today, we have discussed what makes absolute vodka and caviar the perfect pairing. We've dispelled some myths about vodka. We've indulged in caviar tasting, and we've showed you how to craft some exceptional snacks for your caviar party. So we're gonna go finish our absolute vodka and caviar decadence, but don't forget, always like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you're enjoying with your caviar and absolute at home. Take a picture and use that hashtag absolute drinks for a chance to end up on absolutedrinks.com with us. Cheers. Yay, that was amazing. Caviar! Caviar! It's caviar time. We're eating caviar. <laughs>